The Provas Procedure, a guide for surgeons. By eliminating the need to transect, excise, or cauterize the vas, Provas occlusion provides men with a less invasive alternative to traditional vasectomy. Less invasive surgical techniques that minimize surgical trauma to the anatomy result in less post-operative pain, reduced risk of complications, and quicker recovery. Provas occlusion procedures may also prove to be easier to reverse since the site of the occlusion can be readily identified and the sparing of vassal tissue makes reanastomosis easier to perform. It is recommended that the Provas device be positioned high, closer to the base of the penis. It has been postulated that more proximal placement of the occlusion during vasectomy helps reduce the risk of chronic post-vasectomy pain syndrome. Provas occlusion may be performed through either a single incision or dual incisions of at least 1.5 centimeters in length. It is important to make a large enough scrotal opening to allow for easy return of the vas with the Provas clip attached. Accessing the vas for Provas occlusion can generally be performed in the same way you normally would for a standard vasectomy, including the use of no scalpel technique. But since a key objective of Provas occlusion is to spare the vas, the vas should be delivered without puncturing or damaging it. It is only necessary to dissect away the mesenteric tissue sufficiently to expose a loop of bare vas large enough to allow for the passage of the lower jaw of the Provas applier. Generally, a loop of one centimeter in height is sufficient to create a large enough opening. After inserting the lower jaw of the Provas applier through the loop of bare vas, advance a plier forward until the vas is positioned at the back of the applier's jaws. Orient the applier perpendicular to the access of the vas so that the clip will be applied onto the vas at a right angle. Taking care not to deploy the clip, slide the thumb slide forward approximately 2 millimeters until a green line appears on the top of the applier. Note that only minimal pressure is applied to the vas by the spring-activated jaws of the applier during this process. Confirm that the vas lines up with the green line. If the vas does not line up with the green line, release the thumb slide and advance the applier forward to position the vas further into the jaws of the device. In the event that the vas was accidentally punctured during anesthesia or any other step in the process of delivering the vas, apply the Provas device on the proximal or prostatic side of the defect or puncture site. Once you have confirmed that the applier is properly positioned for deployment of the Provas device, advance the thumb slide all the way forward to deploy the Provas clip onto the vas, and then release the thumb slide to open the jaws and then remove the applier from the loop. If the Provas clip should need to be removed for any reason, open the two legs of the clip with an instrument such as a pointed hemostat while pulling backwards on the loop end of the clip to remove it. With Provas securely positioned on the vas, allow the vas to return to the scrotum with the Provas clip positioned so that the hinge enters the scrotum first. Gentle palpation can help ensure that the vas has fallen back to its normal position. Before applying the second Provas clip, the vas should be palpated in both directions to confirm the absence of any clip, thus confirming that you indeed have the contralateral vas. After repeating the procedure on the contralateral side, apply gentle traction to the testicles to help ensure that the two vasa have returned to their correct anatomical positions and that the clips are mobile within the scrotum and free of any tissue. The scrotal incision can be closed as deemed appropriate with either suture, bioadhesive, or bandage. Typically, discomfort and swelling following Provas occlusion is minimal and heavy analgesics are generally unnecessary. An ice pack applied immediately following the procedure can help lessen edema and any related discomfort. A Provas occlusion procedure requires no special post-operative measures or precautions beyond those that would normally apply to a standard vasectomy. After the patient's semen analysis, be sure to report the results along with any significant clinical events or other relevant feedback to Menrec Surgical for inclusion in our clinical registry. If you have any questions regarding the Provas occlusion procedure, please contact your Provas representative prior to performing a procedure. Please also refer to other educational materials available from Menrec Surgical, including the instructions for use that accompanies the product.